let me explain to you the concept of law of demand the concept of law of demand says that other things or rather other factors affecting demand remaining constant the price of the goods is inversely related to its quantity now there are certain parts to this the first part is that other factors remaining other factors affecting demand remaining constant other factors in the previous video i had explained to you what are the factors which affect demand so if i say other factors remaining the constant i'll just explain to you what are the those other factors now assuming these are constant the price of the goods is inversely related to its quantity what does this mean let's say there are two variables price and quantity when you say inversely related what means is that increase in one let's say the price of the goods increases if it is inversely related to its quantity then that means with every increase in price the quantity that is bought will go down isn't it so much true i mean as students you go and buy pen in the market if suppose you had a limited budget and that's the other factors which have to remain constant if suppose you were using 3 pen on a monthly basis at 10 rupees a per pen if suppose the pen price suddenly increases from 10 to 15 you would rather buy 2 pen only so an increase in the price from 10 to 15 resulted in the reduce in the quantity of the pen so the law of demand state this point that there is a inverse relationship between price and the quantity of a good that is demanded whereas if the price goes down the quantity demanded will increase so if instead of 10 this would have become 5 maybe who knows i would have bought instead of 3 maybe 5 pence of course they should have the utility for me i mean if i don't use 5 pence in a month i'm not going to stock them out but if i get the option if the price is decreasing from 10 to 5 i might buy a larger number of pen however this increase and decrease that i have explained to you is subject to certain factors remaining constant so what does this mean this means that the income of consumer does not change now if suppose you know your pocket money increased from let's say you had spent 30 rupees on this if suppose you see your pocket money for pen increases from 30 to 50 then you might go and buy 5 pens as well so the first assumption is that your income remains unchanged the second thing is price of related good do not change now what does this mean i mean if suppose you were buying pen ink pen at 10 rupees and at that point in time the cost of a gel pen was 5 rupees now if this 5 rupee become 2 you might think okay let me reduce this from 3 to 2 and let me buy some 
gel pen. In the process, I will save some money. So price of the related goods or price of goods which might remain or can be used as alternatives do not change. The third thing is goods are homogeneous. Needless to mention that all these pens should be of the same type and quality. Otherwise, the consumer might switch on or switch off their preferences. And taste and preference remain unchanged. I mean, if initially you were using ink pen, but now you want to use pen which are gel, or pilot pen or a different brand pen then obviously even these three pens you might not buy so the assumption is that your taste and preferences remain unchanged if these four conditions are met then the law of demand will hold that is every increase in price will result in a reduction of quantity of that goods which are bought and every decrease in price will result in increase in the quantity of goods that are bought.